We are, we're delighted. I mean, you know, 4,700 medals are now sitting in one of the most iconic and safest landmarks anywhere in the world. Tower of London sits within the, the boundaries of one of the host boroughs. And, you know, it's important that those medals are safeguarded, protected, cherished, because that's exactly what the athletes will want from them. As an athlete, running across the line in first place, second or third place, and just doing that in an Olympic stadium, you'd probably be happy with anything, if I'm being honest. But I think they will be exceptionally pleased with the amount of thought and detail and craftsmanship that's gone into these medals. They're slightly larger than the standard size from previous games, and so they should be. You know, these aren't medals that are just sort of worn for a few days and then stuck in a sock drawer somewhere. You know, these are displayed with pride. They go down through generations. They inspire people around the world to take up sport. And that's why we felt it was worth going that extra mile to present something that really expressed and paid homage to the Olympic movement, but also had a nod to the modernity and the creativity and ingenuity of a modern city. Look, it's just a wonderful opportunity for the Atlanta to be part of London 2012. I must tell you that we are, it's wonderful to see that we've managed to bring uh, eight tons of metals from, uh, from the mountains of Utah and the deserts of Mongolia and to see them transformed into these wonderful, gleaming, beautiful uh, Olympic medals. So it's a great day for us. Oh, it's got to be really, really special. I mean, it's got to be, you know, the ultimate prize in sport and certainly the ultimate prize in the Olympics. So I think it must be a great thing for them, I'm sure. Um, first is the safe delivery of the medals to somewhere where they will be stored. The Tower of London is a very significant London landmark. It's always been the, you know, it's, it's the fort of London, isn't it? Uh, it's where things are kept secure, um, either before they meet an unfortunate fate at the end, or in the case of a medal, um, come out and play a very significant part in, in a great event this summer. The second thing that's significant about it is that it's the moment for the athletes when they see these gold medals, probably for the first time. Local went out to the athletes, asked them what they wanted, they got a very straightforward answer. They want, wanted something big and gold, iconic design that spoke for London, and they've got that tonight. The Tower of London is traditionally the strong house of London. I mean, it's been here for centuries. Uh, it's been woven in and out of, of, of English and, and British history for most of that time. I mean, it's still, I think it's still one of the most popular, if not the most popular, tourist destination anywhere in London. It is an iconic landmark. I mean, around the world, you know, you think Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London, you know, St Paul's Cathedral. They're things that speak. For, for London, so it is incredibly important in London's games that the tar played a part. Believe you want to keep something secure, there's nowhere better, that's why it's here tonight.